Welcome, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are about to go into game two of Torrent vs. Sen. Sen with an unbelievable Roach double attack play in the first game on Metalopolis, doing an amazing job keeping Torrent unable to do anything but defend for the last 12 minutes of the game. Very convincing win, but again, that map does mean a Zerg is a little bit happy. Metalopolis means that the Zerg could expand out a little bit more. Going into game two of the Root Gaming Warzone tournament, we see Torrent. Now it looks like he is spawning in the left position as the orange Protoss, and in the top we have Sen spawning as the blue Zerg. Again to note, this tournament, sponsored by DreamHost, has $3,500 on the line. Sen did manage to roll through EG Machine. Torrent surprisingly knocking out Sake in the previous round. So very, very convincing uh, little win there by Torrent. Absolutely earned his spot in this semifinal. <laughs> Excuse me. But either way, Sen is in a good position. He's already won the first game, but he's not going to be too happy about his situation on Lost Temple. Obviously, the two shortest distances are the top against the left position. We see that those naturals are right next door. Doesn't look like Torrent is going for any sort of early expand, though. Um, fast Nexus is around 16, 17 on this map. Extremely typical due to the fact that um, this is such a narrow choke at your natural expansion. Very, very easy for Protosses to be able to take and hold those expansions and get the Colossi very, very quickly, all without having really too much threats at the front door. So Torrent was able to scout his opponent out very, very quickly. Knows exactly what's up. He's going to go down here and hang out by the expansion. We're going to see how Sen chooses to respond. Now, most players go for something like a 14 or 15 pool, in particular a 14 or 15 pool after a Vespian Geyser, but Sen, well known for being a Zerg player who's more than happy to do a spawning pool on 13, even 12 sometimes, getting a lot of Zerglings and a queened out first, and then backing up and getting that expansion. So it looks like this probe is trying to micro around Torrent is going to be quite at a disadvantage if he does throw down a pylum. That's right, the Protoss will be at a disadvantage. Ooh, he's going to be at an even bigger disadvantage now that he lost his freaking probe. But the Zerg is, again, with a very early pool, like this 13 pool, Zerg is happy to let that pylon go down, get his Zerglings out, because it doesn't actually delay the hatch timing if you get the Lynx plus Queen out ASAP. Looks like Torrent now getting up his gateway and his gas, nothing out of the ordinary here, just gearing up to throw down a cybernetics core to create, again, a nice little constricted entrance to the front, easy to manage Zerglings. <coughs> because Sen was able to build his expansion hatchery first, his queen's a little bit delayed, but still quite fast regardless. One set of Zerglings coming out right now for Sen as well. If we go back to the Protoss base, we see one Zealot en route. Now, most Zergs either prefer very fast gas, followed by uh, Zergling speed, very fast gas, very fast pool, or they like a very fast hatch. So this um, pool expand is a little bit hard for a lot of Zerg players because of the fact that there are so many openings that can mess with you. In particular, one Stalker, one Zealot openings. Very easy to abuse because of the fact that you don't have speed Zerglings up yet. <coughs> Goodness, excuse me, you don't have the speed Zerglings up yet, and you don't quite have the creep up for the spine crawlers yet. So Sen's going to have to play this out very carefully. It looks like he's marching his first queen on down the ramp. Two Zerglings approaching the front. Very smart play by Zerg. He knows he doesn't want to hold the Zell Naga Watchtower. He instead just needs to make certain that no Zealot Stalker push is coming early on. And there's a Stargate coming out from Torrent. Looks like he wants to do some very big aggression early on. Two big deviations that can happen right now. He can go one Stargate fast expand. A uh, pretty typical opening. Or he can do the slightly more all-in-ish play of getting one Void Ray and then going four Warp Gate all-in. <sighs> Very risky, all-in play. Um, can work, uh, especially if the Zerg is not expecting it, but a Zerg player like Sen generally prepares so, so well. We do see that spine crawler going down right now. Sen also has enough money for Zergling speed, hasn't even invested in it yet. Just getting drones, just getting more larva. Um, looks like that Overlord is still trying to get in a good position where it can maybe scout into the base, but this is a perfectly positioned Stargate. And looks like there's the Void Ray coming out right now. And if we go to the Nexus, look at that. 70 energy saved up right now. He can definitely get that Void Ray out incredibly quickly. But we don't see any swell of the Warp Gates quite yet. Looks like Torrent now advancing forward. Could be going for that early expand. Let's see. Yes, I would imagine now that he is definitely going to be going for a fast expand. 
Void Rays and Phoenix is a very good way to abuse Queens that are caught out of position. We do see Sen now throwing down more Spine Crawlers. Very interesting. Playing this a little bit blindly, not scouting his opponent. He hasn't seen any Void Ray go on. And, alright, looks like we're going to take another look at that. I mean, he's done no scouting. He hasn't seen any Void Ray action come up. He just knows he hasn't quite seen anything come out yet. We see the Warp Gate upgrade is not quite done. And there are a bunch of Spine Crawlers going up. Very surprising blind play by Sen. His layer is also quite a ways behind. Interested to see if he'll be going for that big Spire play that really was very popular on this map for a long time. <laughs> In the meantime, we do see, oh, there's the gateway swell from Torrent. No early expand, tricking me, almost certainly tricking Sen as well, because it's so rare that you see that pylon get planted at the front, those early gateways move down, and then no early expand. And it looks like there now is the Overlord falling, so that means that Sen knows exactly what's up. One Queen was already en route, but he's got to be careful. He only just now pooped out that Creep Tumor, so that means that he is going to have a little bit of a rougher time going from main to expo. There are the queens out. The Void Ray is not going to be able to do that much damage. Second Void Ray coming out right now. But look at those queens. Oh, Torrent with a little bit of sloppy control, letting that Void Ray get down to 106 life. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And it looks like there are all the gateways finishing up right now. Another Void Ray also getting close to finishing. It looks like Torrent making his intentions revealed moving forward. Don't know how much I like that. Because really, Sen is just going to be on the defense. We see it looks like five queens going to be made right now. Gently inching all those spine crawlers forward to make certain that he has enough space to maneuver those queens. And it looks like Torrent thinking about doing a warp into the main. Ooh, ooh, could be deadly, but at the same time, there's a lot of hydros that can get produced now. Only two coming out right now. Oh, Torrent, be careful! It looks like taking down a little bit to half health. Torrent is very much so all in right now, even getting another Void Ray. Here he is coming over to the main, and he's going to be warping in one sentry. Let's see if he ends up making that many more units, and it looks like he's moving up to the front. Could he get a force field off? Oh my gosh, that means the main is completely locked off from the expansion. More sentries advancing forward. There's a transfuse, keeps the queen alive. Torrent having a lot of disorganization here, doesn't quite know what units he wants to warp in. And now he's lost the other Void Ray, that means he cannot warp in any more units after these initial sentries die. The Hydra for Sen are out. Oh, Torrent with a total collapse of that all in is left with virtually no options in the unit counting station. We see three Zealots, one Void Ray, one Stalker, and a Nexus. Torrent realizes he is in an awful spot. Just goes ahead and throws down a Nexus. Going to be a little bit of a bumpy ride though as we do see that Sen is getting a lot of Hydrals, getting Zergling speed. He could gear up to do a push any time now. He has a lot of spine crawlers that can be used to reinforce this push. Don't forget that you can vomit creep with those overlords. And with all these extra queens from Sen, he could just as easily begin planting spine, uh, excuse me, creep tumors to extend these spine crawlers' reach farther forward. Is he getting any sort of speed upgrade? No, does not look like it. That one Void Ray tried to do a little bit of harassment, but will get repelled as we do see. Torrent now getting a robotics facility. Once you get those colossi up to combat this increasing Hydra count, but you know what? Might be a little bit too little, too late. There's a Phoenix out, going to try to do some scouting. And it looks like Sen's just going to push. It looks like he's going to have four or five transfuses ready right when this push begins. And it looks like he's going to begin inching forward. Nothing but Zergling's getting made. And oh, Torrent forgets about a Void Ray in the center of the map. And here comes a huge push from Sen. More units from Torrent getting warped in. And there, they're already going to begin taking some damage. But there could be some big transfuses coming up right now. It looks like that one Hydros does get transfused. Another great transfuse. No units have really died for Sen with the exception of those initial high, or those initial Zerglings. More Zerglings and Hydras getting produced by Sen. Those slow queens, such a huge boost at this point in time. There now is that uh, force field getting thrown down. It looks like Sen does not even mind. He's just going to curl all his units into that zone. If he can get any sort of air unit to see up that ramp, that's going to be lights out for Torrent. We do see the creep continuing to extend. Those creep, those spine crawlers could end up poking a little bit farther forward, but Sen knows no need to risk it and try to shove the way into the main now. Can just go for an expansion. Again, some very nice transfuses on those queens. There's the bottom expansion now going up for Torrent. That means he will be able to get a little bit of a chance back into this game, assuming that his opponent does not notice. There's a War Prism coming out right now. Seems like an unusual choice, but when you're going to be spread out all over the place, I do not mind War Prism plays in the slightest. Excuse me, that's going to be the only way that Torrent can really put pressure on his opponent uh, without walking out his front door. 
More creep tumors now slowly advancing forward. Spine crawlers have not really moved yet. Here's a roach warren coming out right now. And oh no, there's the speed overlords coming up. And Sen, he is not going to fall for any tricks this game. Oh, the worst possible time in the next is just finished. It is not cancelable anymore. And Sen says, oh, what do we have here? And he's just going to easily send a control group in. Oh, Torrent just says good game before anything has been said and done. Sen takes the series to 2-0. He is one game away from going to the grand final to win an even bigger chunk of that $3,500 prize pool sponsored by DreamHost. So this means that Torrent is really going to have to buckle down and focus his strategies and make sure he doesn't do those early missteps if he wants to be able to win. Game 1, I think Sen was just playing very, very well and there wasn't much Torrent could do. But in Game 2, Torrent just had so much indecision with his Void Ray 4 Warp Gate. And with a lot of pressure on, if he loses this, he will be in the 3rd, 4th place match and will not be able to advance forward. Let's go into Game 3 right now and find out what happens. See ya in now.